Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interestinglife.com and today we're getting off the boat and going down a mine and I just wanted to put this little introduction piece before we get to the proper footage to say do not try this yourselves, don't try this at home or anywhere else. Abandoned mines are definitely not places that I encourage anybody to ever go to. So let's just make that quite clear. But what I do want to share with you is some incredible footage and then at the end some absolutely amazing really close up bat footage. Anyway, I will leave a link in the description as well to a previous video of me and my friends who have been down this place before. And as I say, don't try this yourselves. And you'll see at the start of the mine footage as well that there's even a part where somewhere in the last 20 years maximum a huge amount of the ceiling has collapsed. So once again, that's not a good idea. Don't be like me in any way, shape or form. Anyway, let's get on to it. Before we get to the actual mine we need to walk just a little bit up a hill and this is somewhere that I'll keep secret in terms of the general location but if some people have a very good local knowledge, when they see this peacock that's just roaming around wild with a few others in the area, then they may well know where this is. And here is the entrance to the mine. It's just about as Indiana Jones, as Tomb Raider, sort of proper something out of a film, out of a game that you would expect. Even got water dripping down across the front and all the moss and then just a impenetrable blackness as you go in. And then just looking out from the entrance here, this is, yeah, like you say, look at that. If that's not out of a film, I don't know what is. But when we head in properly, this is where the Indiana Jones Inn really begins. And you can see it is quite literally an abandoned mine in the literal sense. It was open until the 90s, which it was used as a bit of a tourist attraction, which in a second you'll see a terrifying remnant of that. But as you can see, it's just extremely dark. But just being down there and seeing all this firsthand, I mean, that, when we first ever went in this place and saw these dummies that are just about, you can imagine how absolutely terrifying that was. And here's just random little, well, when I say little, an extremely deep lagoon that is down there. I don't know if originally that would have been void of water and has filled up over time. But as you can see, it's just about as classic cave-like as you can imagine. Although this is another reason why you shouldn't go down there. That is what's just floating in the air that you can see with just a torch. And moving swiftly on, we've got more just general sights and sounds. And there's all these little alleyways and caverns that open up off it. As once upon a time it was an actual slate mine. And also, like I say, the actual active tourist attraction. But, as mentioned before, one of the uh, pieces that we found is a huge, huge roof collapse, as here's our first sighting of a bat. And when we first saw this, I've never seen a bat down here before. My goodness me, did I jump out of my skin. And we didn't really believe that there was anything actually there at first. But once we saw it, it was incredible. But then when we actually found a proper bat like this, asleep, hanging upside down, and you could go right up close to it, it just didn't seem to mind. I don't know what their senses are like when they're all wrapped up like that. But we'll finish this off with a nice close-up there. And back to me. Back onto the boat to finally wrap things up. I'll say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. It certainly makes a change from going up to the top of mountains and enjoying the views up there to go right down into them. As always, feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos for a load of random narrowboat life stuff and amazing countryside scenery, all that sort of thing. Feel free to like the Facebook page. We've now passed a thousand likes. Absolutely incredible. Thank you all so much for that. That really is an amazing milestone when once upon a time I couldn't even get all of my friends and family to like the page. So thank you all for that. Um, as always, feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter for a load of boaty pictures and updates, things like that. And check out my book, The Narrowboat Lad, available for Kindle. Until the next time, have a fantastic day. Don't do anything stupid like me. Don't go down any mines. And, well, have a great day, and I hope to see you around soon. Farewell.